Girls' Voices and Vision is a theme for this year's International Day of the Girl Child. But beyond um, the interesting line, what are leaders doing to give expression to the vision and voice of the girl child? Uh, this is the next part of our conversation this morning. And joining us on the program uh, to look at um, the challenges of the girl child and indeed the opportunities of the girl child as we celebrate this year's edition is Mrs. Fumilayo Oyekomi, a girl child advocate who joins us from our Buja studio. Uh, good morning and welcome to the program. We also have joining us here in Lagos, Elvira Obiri, a child anti-drug campaigner. And there's also a very interesting part of uh, Elvira. Elvira is a disc jockey. Hello, Elvira. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good morning and welcome to the program. Thank you. It's good to have you. I'm so I'm going to start with you, Elvira. Okay. You are a disc jockey. And yeah. how old are you, by the way? I'm 14 years old. You're 14. So how did you uh, develop an interest in disc jockeying and when did you start? Okay, so I started when I was six years old. Um, I naturally love music um, so like when my siblings and cousins are watching cartoons and I have access to the remote control I change the channel to a music channel so one day I was watching a music video and I saw DJ Copy and other female DJs that was when I told my dad that I want to become a DJ also. So six that's a long time ago, yes. but you're 14 now. Yes. So um, tell us about the kinds of music that you like uh, to disc, disc jockey with. I hope I got the language yeah. correctly. <laughs> um, I love all genres of music, yeah, like old school, new school, Afro beats, I'm a piano, Afro piano, yeah. I, I listen and play all mm. genres of music. So what do you know about the International Day of the Girl Child? Okay. It's a day to celebrate the female gender. Yeah. Okay. Um, what I, do you see to be some of the challenges of the theme of the girl child, particularly in school? Um, how, how are you different from, you know, your siblings who are boys and your friends who are boys in school? Okay. Um, I think um, the girl child is a very special gender because um we are different from other people because some of us are very smart and take right decisions okay um we'll get back to you uh, elvira but let's go okay. to this is from Lai you coming now who joins us from our Abuja studio um hello again um beyond the um beauty of the um theme of this year's celebration what are some of your reflections on the state of the girl child throughout Nigeria. Okay, thank you and good morning. So beyond this day, of course, International Day of the Girl Child is to celebrate the girls and mobilize political will. So ensure that we are investing in girls' education and treating areas that need to be treated. But beyond this day, it is very important for us to understand the statistics and know where the problem lies. We, when we look at some of the challenges that girls face, even at, um, at this present age, we look at lack of access to basic education, we look at child marriage and some, some prevalent cultural practices that are still in, in, that are still in line, um, that are still prevalent in, in some parts of Nigeria. We look at FGM, we look at child marriage, and some of these things just helps us to understand that we need to take further action. Urgent action is needed in terms of how we treat girls and how we prioritize these issues. Uh, right, and I just wonder, for you having worked in this, um, well, in this field, if I can say that, uh, what has been maybe the major challenge? Because speaking with Elvira, uh, it's sort of like, a, I don't want to say point of contact, just to show that your dreams are valid and you can be what you want to be. She's a DJ, she's 14 years old, and I mean, that's great okay. to see. So we're using her as an inspiration to other others out there. But what would you say is the biggest challenge of uh, ensuring that the girl child actualizes her dreams, particularly in this climate? 
I think one place that we need to start from is to is to debunk myths and to debunk the patriarchal system that has been around for ages. So when we when we help girls to see that beyond being um, a girl, there is no limitation to what they can achieve, then they begin to see and they begin to act, um, they begin to dream beyond their immediate environment. Access to information is also very key. For some of the girls that we have dealt with, we understand that some of them don't have access to adequate information. So what we do is democratize access to information. Like currently, our program for this year in Lagos has been able to empower girls in six different areas, talking about access to careers in the science, education, and engineering, technology, and mathematics field. You know, we talk about access to right um, tools to begin to build wealth and and um, eliminate the um, financial dependence that exposes women to gender-based violence. You know, teaching girls how to take care of their bodies, enforce their rights, teaching girls how to be better in school in order to um, increase the school retention rates for young girls. Access to the right information helps us and helps girls to see that they can do more, they can do more, they are more, and they can achieve their dreams. Right. So let's ask uh, Elvira naturally, now that you talk about dreams. Elvira, uh, being a DJ, I, I've tried to DJ virtually, right, on, on the computer, and I know it's really tough because you have to get the, the BPM. Yeah, right? it is. Uh, you have to ensure that you merge it with the music playing. Yeah, and, you know, synchronize it. Synchronize it, and you have to know the point just to come in so yeah. that the beats will just sync, right? You see how tough it is. I tried yeah. and I said, you know what, this is not for me. This is obviously for Elvira. Mm -hmm. I so speak to us about... <laughs> <laughs> about your dreams uh, what are your favorite things i know life can be very serious your parents will say go to school yeah. and then you do assignments some of these things build character in you right it just helps you learn about life uh, how to be consistent disciplined and all but what are your dreams uh, what do you look forward to being basically and this is you by the way yeah. uh djing uh what what event was this the um drug abuse campaign at kemibaluku secondary school Wow, when was this? Last month. Last month, right. So you yes. get a lot of gigs. Yes, I do. Oh, right. yeah, so, and this is an award or laurel that's been presented um, to you? Yes. Okay. Um, Tell us about this by one the also. United States government. And this is you with Simi? Yes. Beautiful. Uh, this moment, how did you feel meeting Simi? I feel very excited. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. And this is you with uh, uh, Young John. Young John, yes. the Wicked producer. Yeah. How did you feel meeting him as well? I was very, very happy. Okay, yeah. good. So you met a lot of stars. Uh, this is you and Casey. Yes. And uh, him, his brother Imani. That's his brother Imani. Yeah. Fantastic. So you, you are a celebrity. Yes. Okay, fantastic. So oh, I like that. She says yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get an autograph from you. But what is your dream, really? What is what is that dream that you envision? How big do you see Elvira being? Okay, my dream is to like share my knowledge with other girls, like to bring them into the music industry so they can become big like others. So tell us this. I always ask young people, right? Um, so it's one thing to be young mm -hmm. and then you have expectations. Uh, and then you wonder, is why don't they understand? I don't know if you feel that way. That why adults should understand. I'm going through my own issues as well. Mm. So if you were to speak to adults out there, lot mm. of them, 18, 20, 30, 40 and above, what is that one thing you wish they knew about young people and a young girl child that they seem to maybe not understand about your peculiarities? And you want to take this moment and say, please understand. Okay, so I want them to understand that they should try giving girls a chance to believe in themselves and mm. um, do things they want to do, do the right things. Yeah. And you know, Elvira, you are an anti drug campaigner, yes. and we know the dangers of substance abuse in young people, and we know, um, you know, the challenges that come with that especially because of the ease of social media and the exposure of social media, how young people pick up certain habits and all of that. And at such a young age, you're taking up um, a worthy cause. Tell us, first of all, what the inspiration for, you know, um, this is for you and um, what you'd like to tell young people using this platform as 
an anti-drug campaigner? Okay, so why I did this campaign was like, Whenever I'm passing my area, maybe when I'm going to school or somewhere, I usually see young boys smoking weed and taking all sorts of unknown substances. And I usually feel pity for them because mm. they don't know the effect it has to their body. So I took up this campaign to advise my fellow teens that they can do anything without taking any drugs and they, can, they should believe in yourself. Mm. Now, do you believe that um, as a young person, do you think the government is doing enough um, to reduce the menace of drug abuse and all other societal ills that you see around you? And we, in relation to that, we can also talk about enabling the girl child to achieve her dreams. Do you see um, the government playing its role as it ought to? Um, maybe I... For me, I think the government should create more jobs so that young people mm. can stop going into drugs. All right. Um, we'll get back to uh, Vera. I, I can't get enough of uh, you. This was you DJing for who? Um, Benson. This was you DJing for Benson, right? Yes. Uh, fantastic. Uh, we'll also come to maybe what plays in your mind, how you, okay. your, your routine and all of that. And I see you vibing to the music, yeah. DJ V. <laughs> I can call you DJ V. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go to Fumilayo. Uh, Fumilayo, uh, so the theme, uh, as we said, girls' vision for the future. Uh, and I wonder, listening to DJ V, Vera speaking, uh, I, I know you, you're imagining perhaps lots of other girls out there whom you wish had some sort of a chance uh, to dream, to have a vision for the future. So t taking off from Bukola's question about, you know, the policy from government and other stakeholders, what must we begin to put in place uh, so we can get more from, I mean, this pool of potential? <laughs> We've been clapping with one hand. So imagine we ensure that all girl, child or children are able to reach their potential. We'll be clapping with two hands. So what must, must we do policy-wise and other stakeholders? Okay, so currently I think there are, I, I know that there are a lot of policies and a lot of laws that are there to advance the rights of, of the girl child. We have the Lagos State Plan of Action for Marginalized Girls 20, 2021 to 2025. And we, we have laws like the Child Rights Act that not all states have, have um, in, enacted, by the way. But beyond these laws, we need to do more implementation. I, I, the problem is usually the implementation aspect. Beyond the laws, we need to um, organize, mobilize political will and work with different stakeholders to advance the rights of the girl child and you know by the time organizations by the time the government and organizations like the one and like human and social sustainability network you know we are able to we are able to work together with the government to implement these policies to implement these laws and to protect the rights of children and you know also advance and help them to dream for the future now for me there are um we still have very real cultural and religious barriers um that okay. are set against young girls particularly in nigeria's north uh, a lot of them are still in within the throes of you know, the issues of child marriage and um you know early school a dropout and we have quite a number of girls sadly in idp camps today um you know who have resorted to all forms of you know vices just to feed um how far are we away from this era where every girl will be giving that opportunity for education and to be able to make choices for themselves particularly uh those girls within the social construct of nigeria's north how many years from now do we project are you projecting that we're going to exit that um this time and then those girls will be empowered Okay, so looking at the current situation and, you know, some, some days ago I was reading the SDD fact sheets for Nigeria and the statistics for gender equality just helps us to see that we are still a bit far from achieving um, gender equality and from ensuring that all girls have equal access to opportunities. And talking about projection, 
let's uh, say that maybe 2050, but I know that organizations are making incredible efforts to empowering girls. You know, we talk about organizations that are focused on foundational literacy, especially for those that have been affected by insurgency and conflict and are subject, subjected to staying in IDP camps. We talk about organizations that even empower girls with life skills, you know, beyond the foundational literacy. So teaching them how to, um, teaching them how to take care of themselves and how to, you know, gain meaningful employment so that they don't have to, they don't have to engage in transactional sex with older men, you know, to feed for themselves and their families. And although there are efforts being made, but we are still far from the mark. And it is necessary for the government and organizations to prioritize investing in education. You know, organizations need to, to look at look, look at mobilizing part of their CSR budget to empower more girls. You know, for a country like Nigeria that we have over 200 million um, people, and of this 200 million, more than 24% of this population are adolescent girls between 10 to 19 years. And, you know, if we look at the number and the number of people that are currently empowered, then we, we know that we have a long way to go. So this is a call. This is, I'm, I'm imploring young people, individuals, governments, organizations to look towards investing more in girls' education, in life skills, and empowering girls. Even the boys, you know, little acts like teaching boys early to respect women, to fight for them, and not stand by while they are being um, marginalized or discriminated against. Little acts like that go a long way, because when we look at perpetrators of some of these vices, we see how, yeah. um, we see how, uh, you, it, we see how the mindset of, you know, boys or men play a big role in, in the vices that they create again, that they do against women. Mm. And that would be a fine place to leave it, reflecting on that important point about how, mm -hmm. as we build opportunities for the girl child, we should also be forming and shaping uh, the boy child because we're living, uh, we intend to live a sustainable world for both the boy child and the girl child. But we must anchor at this point. We, we need to still get um, DJV's uh, intervention, final words, uh, your routine. Uh, pardon me, we have to do that. Your routine and to every girl out there who's looking at mm. you and saying, I love what DJV is doing and uh, I'd like to do something like that. Maybe not DJ, it could be any other thing. Uh, what is the toolkit? What is a, your rule book? What does it look like to at least achieving something at this age? Okay, I just believe in myself that if I have a dream to do something, I can do it without anybody telling me yes or no. And I don't let anybody discourage me when I want to do something. Beautiful. So uh, I should just say that International Day of the Boy Child is May the 16th. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to start grooming gentlemen just to say that. And we look forward to that celebration. Of Thank team. you for helping us balance things. And for reminding us that we should celebrate the boy child. <laughs> All right. Um, Elvira Obiri. Um, child anti-drug campaigner and disc jockey. It was such a delight to have you, thank Elvira. You. Thank you for coming on. So and we wish you the very here. best in your continuing and future pursuits. And we want to thank you very much as well for Milayo Yekomi, girl child uh, uh, advocate who joined us from our Abuja studio.